up guys welcome back for the hundredth billion thousandth time <laughs> i can't believe i'm actually making this video right now this video has been an idea in my mind for a long 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 time now i finally realized i had help actually coming to this realization that the reason why I've been so inconsistent is because of judgment and it's not so much judgment from others it's a lot of self-judgment um, I just I don't know I guess I would just think like people aren't gonna like what I post or people are gonna think a certain way of me um, if I do post something like this you know so but we're done with that we are done with that. We are just doing what we want to do. We are in our do whatever it is you want to do era. And I am finally making this video. And this video is going to be about me opening up, uh, being completely vulnerable, uh, sharing and telling my story. Um, basically what I've been doing this whole year, the year of 2023. The year of 2023 has literally been a self-love and healing journey for me um, so if you catch me being a little bit emo emotional like don't mind me I'm gonna try I feel like I can get through this without crying but if I do start crying it's okay totally okay but it's gonna be an, a little bit of an emotional video so this is my story I'm just gonna go ahead and act like everybody here has no idea who I am knows nothing about me so Hi, my name is Stephanie. I am a single mother of two boys. If you have seen some videos that I still have on here, um, obviously you can tell I'm a mom. Um, I have two boys. My oldest is Victor, he's three, and my youngest is Sebastian. He just turned a year and a half, crazy. Uh, but I am a single mother. I have been a single mother uh, basically all of 2023. I became a single mother um in november so it's been a good almost 10 months now almost a freaking year guys and um i have my notes here so if you catch me like looking that's what i'm looking at almost a whole freaking year of being a single mom and i am just like i trip out sometimes because if you knew me and i'm going to talk a little bit about it but if you knew me you saw me past year and you know, um, I was just in a whole different place. I was very, I'll say maybe because becoming a mom had a little bit to do with it um, cause of the hormones and you know, postpartum depression and all that stuff. But I was in a very, very um, dark place. And just thinking back at to where I was or even looking at old videos like on Instagram and stuff, even though I might have looked happy, I just see those videos and I remember how freaking just like miserable, probably depressed. I never got diagnosed, but <laughs> probably depressed. And um, seeing where I'm at now, it's like I think about it sometimes and I start crying, but I start like happy crying because I'm just so freaking like proud of where I am. Not me tearing up already. I just want to say real quick. If you're here thinking you're going to get some inside scoop, some tea on me and the father of my kids, you can just like exit out now because <laughs> you're not getting that. Um, that's not what this channel is about. I will say though, we are on very, very, very good terms. Co-parenting is probably the best choice and decision we could have made for ourselves individually and for our kids. If that's not what you wanted to hear, then I'm sorry to disappoint. You can go ahead and just get out of this video. I just had to say that. Um, but let's let's rewind to how I was feeling and how I knew it was time for me to heal, basically. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier, I was just very, very sad, um, depressed. Um, unmotivate unmotivated just always in a bad mood and for whatever reason i couldn't shake it i couldn't get myself out of feeling that way 
Um, and it came to a point where I started, and I hate this, but it's just, this is very real. And I know I'm not like the only one that goes through this. I hated it because it started affecting how I was towards my kids. Um, I would just get very frustrated with them very easily. Um, just, I hated it, you know, like I never ever got violent or crazy or anything like that. So don't think that, but just my energy towards them was not good. Um, and I did, I did anything I could, like everything I could to try to get out of it. And I just, I, it was so hard. It's like, I just, this pressure, this demon, this very bad, bad energy was just hovering over me almost every single day. And, um, and my mind always just felt fogged. I had no motivation to do anything. I kept going to the gym because that's one thing. Like, I just cannot stop. I feel like me going to the gym kind of like, it was like fighting this negative energy. Like, no. You know, like, they just kept going at it. <laughs> if that makes sense. But um, I just couldn't shake it. I couldn't get it off of me. And so one day, the day that um, I decided to leave my relationship, and I don't want to say that and have you guys think that my relationship was the cause of this. It might have had something to do with it, but I also feel like becoming a mom had a lot to do with it. A lot of past traumas from like my childhood growing up had a lot to do with it too it was just when you feel like you need to heal you it's not always needing to heal from something that's happening in the moment or in the present it's healing from things in the past that without you knowing might have had some kind of effect on you right so the day the day i decided to leave um my relationship was because how, how I knew it was time, I guess. It was very weird. Um, I was just sitting on the couch and the boys were just playing on their little play mat. I was just watching them. Um, everything was fine. Everything was fine. There was no arguing. There was no, 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 nothing. Really, everything was fine. But I'm watching my kids and I start crying. I just start crying and I just knew in that moment that that it was time. That it was time. If I was going to get better, I needed to be on my own, I guess. That's what I realized. I needed to be on my own. Um, I Obviously, I had kids, so I wasn't going to be completely on my own. But I needed to be alone. I needed to find myself again i had no idea who i was anymore after i mean i honestly now that i think about it i don't think i ever really knew who i was because me and the father of my kids we got in a relationship very very young and the moment the day we met we literally spent every single day together so i never had like time to figure out who i am um and I realized that day that I left was that's what I needed to do you know so I moved back into um, my mom's house with the boys um, and we were there up until like a month ago basically because now you know I'm living somewhere new um, we moved in with a friend, me and the boys, we share this room here. And um I was there so I was there for a good a good maybe like six, seven months. Basically this whole time from November, which is the month that I moved out, um, up until now I've been really just taking steps, 
step by step. Like it is not it's not a it's not an easy thing to do. To go through a healing journey, you have to really just like uh, it's crazy. Like you, you literally like you just have to feel it. There comes a point where you're tired of feeling how you've been feeling. I've been I was tired of feeling sad, unmotivated, just angry and <clears throat> like I was tired of it. So I was like, okay, like what how, what do I need to do? And so I moved out. I l luckily I'm blessed to have a uh, a baby daddy who is a very good father like he wanted to still be involved in his kids lives and so you know we are very good at communicating so he has his days i have mine we switch off weekends and it allows me time to have my time to myself but let's just fast forward to how i'm doing today um i kid you got i kid you guys not I kid you not guys <laughs> even though I don't want to say it the way my life turned out I never thought I'd be a single mother um, I never thought I'd be basically starting over because I was a stay-at-home mom for three years basically so I had to get back into the work field I, I personal train again um, I'm trying to I'm working on other things but I basically had to start over. But today, I am truly, I can honestly say that I am the happiest that I have been in a very, very long time. And I know it's true, one, because of how I feel, but also because I get a lot of people telling me, like, Steph, you look so happy, Steph, you're glowing, Steph, this, Steph, that. And it just means, it means so, 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 so much to me. Because like I said, if you guys would have seen me 10 months ago, like before I started doing this, before I went through all this, it's a completely different person. Like, it's insane. It's insane how how much I've changed, how much I've grown, and how much I've healed. And I'm not done. <laughs> I know I'm not done. You know, there's always room for more growth. There's always room for more. Um, but even though I'm crying, <laughs> I am doing really, really, really good. And... My goal for this channel is to share more things like this, you know, good and bad, because we have to remember that life isn't always good. Like there could be a lot of good, but there can also be bad. And that you're not alone when there is bad things, you know. And But what I want you guys to learn or get from this channel is that even though things can seem very bad, I want to help you guys get through it <clears throat> because if you can do that, if you can find the light at the end of every situation, oh my gosh, like life is not going to seem that serious. <laughs> you are going to live so much happier. You are going to learn to be like, you know what, okay, this sucks, but it's all right. You know, it's okay. It's temporary. This is going to pass. I'm going to get right back up you know so my goal for this channel is just to hopefully inspire anybody who is going through the same thing that i'm going through so if you feel anything from what i've been talking about today if you feel like it's time for you to go on a healing journey um watch this video i'm gonna show like i said i'm gonna be very open very vulnerable i'm gonna show a lot of things i'm also gonna do fun stuff you know like vlogs with my kids a uh, day in my life type of things like that um but i just hope that this video can inspire at least one person um and my camera is actually about to die <laughs> right now so with that being said i want to say 
thank you to everybody who watched this video. I want to say thank you to everybody who's just been showing me love this whole year of 2023. 2023 has literally been a growing year for me and it's a year I'll never forget. So anybody who's been a part of it, showing me love, you know, just there, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to create more content for you guys. I feel like <laughs> this is it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.